thank you. Oh, I got a lipstick stain there, yeah, love. Oh. I am Harry Styles' girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> She's got a book for every situation. Hi, people I love. Welcome back to MG's Library. My name is Mary Grace, and this is my library. Hi, my people. How are you? Happy Monday. Hope you had a good weekend. Hope it was super restful, and y'all are just ready for this week. Trust me, last week was an interesting week for me. We're back on the grind. Back on the grind. Today's video, y'all, I'm so excited for. If y'all do not know, Fleetwood Mac is one of my favorite bands of all time. Stevie Nicks is my queen, my everything. I love her so much. So I'd say about a month ago, I did recommending books for all of Harry Styles' songs on Fine Line, and everyone really liked that video. Thank you so much for all the love, and I'm so thankful. And Because I absolutely loved making that video. It really inspired me and put a fire under my butt, and I really enjoyed making it. So we are going to be doing recommending books for all of my favorite Fleetwood Mac songs. Before we get this video started, party people, grab your beverageino. I have mine in my Be Merry mug. I just got this, my brother got this for me. Because I'm merry, be merry, get it? Be merry, but also be merry and bright. Grab your beverage, you know, and let's get into this. Alrighty y'all, we're starting off strong. First song, Dreams. Dreams to me is about finding out that a man that you thought was everything he was the sun and you were simply revolving around him turns out to be the exact opposite turns out to be the literal devil in disguise and the book that i'm recommending to this i actually just recently read but it fits this song so well it is long shot by kennedy ryan first of all this might be one in my top 10 for favorite books i've read this year um there's lots of triggers in it so make sure you look um up all the triggers because there are a lot uh, but the author does such a wonderful job of appropriately describing all of the trauma and all the experiences. I think it is very well done. This book is about this very strong-willed, wonderful woman named Iris, and she is dating a professional basketball player. She's watching the Lakers game at this bar, and this guy walks up who is actually her boyfriend's arch nemesis. Like, they hate each other. They've played basketball since they were young. And he walks up. He does not know that that's his arch nemesis's girlfriend. And they start talking and it's so good. But she, through this book, realizes that the man that she loves is not who she thought he was. And it's very, very heavy, a very heavy book. But I feel like Iris loves dreams. Like, I know that she listens to this song. But she loves this song. Like, I know she does. I just know it. The next song, another classic, The Chain. Now the like main lines of the chain are, if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. They say that over and over and over again. And first thought that popped into my mind was a strong-willed woman. A woman who's like, if you don't love me now, baby. You will never love me again. So I was like, okay, strong-willed women, strong-willed women. I read a lot of strong-willed women books. But the one that I landed on was Calendar Girl by Audrey Carlin. I've talked about this series on my channel before. The premise of these books is that there's this woman who owes a very large debt for her father to keep him alive and she becomes a high-end escort. Her type of escorting is to be like arm candy and so like high profile men look like they have a stable relationship. So the first guy that she meets in this series, she pretty much falls in love with. He is so in love with her, but she has to pay off this debt. Like she has to, and she doesn't want to accept money from him because she's like, I don't need no man. And it's pretty much him saying, if you don't love me now, you'll never love me again. And he's like, dude, I'm here. Like, do you want me or not? So I feel like these two just fit perfectly together. Next song, and one of my, fa oh, oh, one of my favorite favorites is Gold Dust Woman. Now, Gold Dust Woman is about, to me, both men and women finding out that their significant other was kind of manipulative <laughs> and wasn't exactly what they had in mind for who they were. She says, like, rulers make bad lovers, and she, I think Stevie is kind of placing blame on everyone in a relationship. Just because things from the surface seem like, wow, this person is awful, there's always like things hiding behind that. 
So the book that I picked for this song is one of my favorite books. It is Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. This whole book is these two pen pals falling in love with each other, their whole childhood being such an integral part of each other's lives. And when they meet, it's not what they thought it was going to be. And the other is not who they thought they were. But there's so much that goes into that and so much trauma and things like that. Oh my God. I just feel like these just fit too well together. The next song is Don't Stop. Um, Don't Stop to Me is about leaving things behind and moving forward, always moving forward. Tomorrow is coming, like let's move forward, like always be progressing, getting better, being a better human. Let's just do the damn thing. That's how the song has always felt to me and it like gives me a little bit of like motivation, you know? And the book that fits so perfectly with this is Again But Better by Christine Riccio. I just talked about this book in my haul last week. Again But Better is about this young girl who goes to London to pursue her dreams and live a brand new life. Things aren't necessarily what she thought they were going to be and there's lots of lessons to be learned and I think that she could get a hype out of Don't Stop because her will to just like do her own thing, like go after her dreams is incredible and I feel like sometimes she second guesses herself in this book and I feel like these messages are like super similar. The next song is You Make Loving Fun. I love this song, y'all. It's like the ultimate like 70s, early 80s love song. It's called You Make Love and Fun. And from that, I insinuate that love had not been fun before this person. And that's what this whole song is about, like figuring out that love is not so bad. Like it's supposed to be fun. You're supposed to find a lot of joy in being in love. So I wanted to pick an epic love story book. You know what I mean? Like I wanted to pick one where beforehand love was not easy but now with this person it's like weird that it's so easy you know what I mean so I picked Bad Boys Break Hearts by Michaela Smeltzer this is a college age romance and these two actually grew up together and got separated because her family moved away they meet back up in college and he's kind of a douche canal she's just keeping her head down nose to the grindstone like trying to get through college because she has not had an easy life when they meet, they're like butting heads because I almost feel like they feel like they have to butt heads and figure out that, wow, I love this person. And why does it feel like this? Like, this is weird. If this book were a movie, it would, this song would be in the soundtrack. You know what I mean? All right, all the second to last song, which is one of my favorite songs ever, like ever, like just in, in the world, like ever. Um, this is actually my mom's least favorite song by them, which is so funny because I love this song. It is Seven Wonders. If I live to see the seven wonders. Again, another epic love story song comparing like this human to the seven wonders and saying like, I'll never live to match the beauty. That's how I interpret it. I'm not really sure. But it is an epic love story song, in my opinion. Now, one of my favorite love stories that I read this year, I had to I had to give it this one, you know, because it's it's epic. It is the Gersey Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society by Mary Ann Schaefer and Anne Barrows. It is about this journalist who is living this life that she's not very happy with and no one really takes her writing seriously or what she wants to write and she always has big ideas. This takes place in a World War II timeline. She learns about this reading club, this reading society that stayed safe by saying that they were a potato peel pie society because one night they get caught walking home by German officers and they make up this lie. So they become the Potato Peel Pie Society. She finds out about them, goes to the island of Gersey and tries to interview them to like figure out their story. And she learns so much about the people there and she meets a very special man. This is also a movie. The movie is incredible. I think it did the book so much justice. A top 10 of this year and you should go read it. The last song I have on my list y'all is Storms. This song, oh, it speaks to my soul. This song is about women, men feeling misunderstood, feeling like they are as submissive or 
quiet as they are wanted to be by society. The main line of the song is, I've always been a storm. Like, I've always been this outspoken. I've always been wild. I've always been free. I, I think that's such an incredible message and this song is beautiful. One of my all-time favorites ever. I love this song. So again, I was trying to think of like a badass woman. A woman who refused to be silenced and who has always used her voice to bring change and love on people. So of course, I've already talked about this book and y'all aren't gonna be surprised. It is Beautifully Cruel by JT Gessinger. You guessed it. The way that she writes strong females and she writes such different strong females like from different backgrounds and the way that they react to certain situations but they're still like strong females is incredible this story follows a businessman mafia leader who falls in love with this woman who stole from his company she's stealing to give to the less fortunate she has such a heart for the less fortunate and for social justice i just feel like these two exude the same power and Oh, they just fit, you know what I mean? They just fit. Alrighty, my people, those are all the songs and books that I have for this one. I love y'all so, so much. Thank you for just watching me and supporting me and loving me. I have been feeling so, so grateful and just humbled by the experience I'm on right now with y'all. This has seriously been a life-changing experience for me and I'm just speechless over it. But yeah, guys. That's all I have for you today. If you don't already, subscribe, subscribe, come on. Let's be friends, love on each other on every social media platform. Everything's linked below. Again, thank you for being here. I won't be able to say it enough. I love y'all with my whole heart. I hope that you guys have a good week. I will see you on Thursday. I'm sending all the good love and energy your way. Let me know if you need anything this week. I'll see you in a couple days. I love you. Mwah.